What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Um, you know, piggybacking off a video I did yesterday where Terrence Crawford blasted the media for giving Lomachenko pound pound number one in 2017 fighter of the year. And I definitely agree with what he said. But one of the subscribers said that, you know, I forgot who it was who said it. It basically said his energy is pointed at the wrong direction. His energy is pointed to the the media. And why not point your energy to the guy that created the Lomachenko buzz? The guy that has the pipeline to the media like no other boxer promoter. The guy that manipulates the media and the casual public, you know, like no other. And that's Bob Arum. And if I remember who told, who said that, I definitely would get him a major, major shout out. I'll get so many comments every day. But that's a real true statement, you know. Uh if you don't, if, if if you guys don't know what I'm talking about before I get into this video, it, uh, you know, deep into this video, Bob Aaron manipulates the media like no other. He has the pipeline in the air of the media. He's been in boxing what 50, 60 some years, so he's able to manipulate the media. You know, all those biased articles that you guys see, you know, all those great articles by him even before he joined ESPN. Dan Rayfield was already pushing the top rank train. Just like it's a divide between boxing fans. You talk when you talk about PBC and top rank and Golden Boy. Just like it's a cold war, it's a cold war in the media. And most of the major media sides with Bob Aaron because they, he does some things. Like, like he gave them comps to go over to, to China when Pacquiao was over there fighting with Zeus Simmons and all stuff of that nature. He he he, preside, he provides the sauce for them, you know what I'm saying? He gives them interviews, he gives them comps and make sure they, they took care of, they get them the, the press, uh, the press, the credentials to the, to the, uh, to the fights and stuff of that nature, he makes sure he take care of them, you know, and, you know, they gonna side with him regardless, because that's who they're familiar with, and Al Heyman, he don't do no interviews, you know what I'm saying, similar to like the NFL Hall of Fame, where those writers hold grudges versus, you know, certain players, because certain players spoke their mind and wouldn't give them interviews and didn't fuck with them, you know what I'm saying, and, and that's true talk, and, and, and that's how it is with Al Heyman, you know, um, you know, so many people are against him because he's a private guy, and he's a black man taking over boxing, and people got a problem with that alone. And Bob Barron was telling them, you know, don't mess with them. Come do over there and do this. You know what I'm saying? And and Crawford, to get into it, Crawford's energy is in the wrong place. Why are you talking to the boxers, the, the boxing writers, and, and the media, ESPN, and that nature? Talk to the guy who started the Lomachenko train, who who started the Lomachenko hype, the one who promoted Lomachenko versus Moraga and Rigondeaux better than he promoted any of your fights ever in your career. And you had a unification bout, an undisputed unification bout with Julius Ndongo, and it was looked at as, eh. you know, the same Bob Arum who didn't want to let you fight in Omaha, Nebraska, or wherever you was in Nebraska, Lincoln, wherever it was, the same guy that didn't believe in you to put asses in the seats, you know, at home, and made you pay out your pocket you know, as a security blanket, they have you open up a new market at home. And it, it popped off. You know, he didn't believe in you. Same thing with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather was trying to tell Bob Arum how to market him a better way, and Bob Arum didn't want to listen, you know? So they had a clash of differences. And, Ty and Terrence Crawford going down the same the same road. No way this man should have had to put his own money up just to fight at home to prove that he was a draw at the crib, you know? Bob Aaron will not put his own money up for any of the fighters. White, black, yellow, green, Mars, Venus, Saturn, Uranus, the planet of the apes, wherever, wherever the planet you talking about, he ain't putting his own money up. You know, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a very selfish guy, you know, when it comes to that Skrilla. But Terrence Crawford energy is pointed in the wrong direction. Bob Aaron is the one telling him that this guy's better than Muhammad Ali, better than Floyd Mayweather and Lomachenko. Bob Aaron is the one you know, showing up to all the Lomachenko press conferences and other things of that nature. He's the one that's trying to push that man. He ain't pushing Terrence Crawford like that. He might say some good things about Terrence Crawford, you know, but it ain't it ain't to the, it, it ain't really as impactful as he what he doing with Lomachenko. So Terrence Crawford getting mad at the writers, you know, in in, in, the, in the media. Don't get mad at them. Get mad at the guy you sitting next to, you know, the same guy that's making you false promises talking about oh fights with Earl Smith and Keith Thurman will happen. When, you know, Pacquiao Mayweather was a, big, a damn near billion dollar fight and he, and he didn't want to let that happen until years down the line. You know, Terrence Crawford wanted to get away from Bob Aaron, man. You know, that's what it is. A lot of people say, well, you know, you know. And a lot of people that support Terrence Crawford, you know, um, that's not the, of, of American nationality or black nationality are people that support Terrence Crawford because he's with top rank. And they think PBC is evil and, and they, 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 uh, 
critique PBC consistently and constantly, but at the same time, do they critique top rank for putting on ass ass cards on ESPN? And they had a great card on there with a name versus name, other than the Pacquiao Horn card. And y'all said it was trash before y'all went into that. You know? So let's keep it real on that, man. Trill talk. You know, ESPN top rank, that shit suck. It ain't no good fights that really been on there. A name versus a name. You know? It's all in-house top rank fights, and that's the reason why HBO kicked them out. You know? And Terrence Crawford is mad at the wrong person. Be mad at Bob Arum. Don't be mad at nobody else but, 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 but Bob. You know? You got to have to get away from him, man. I'm trying to tell people the Thurman and Spence fight ain't happening. It ain't because Bob don't want it, to, want it to happen or don't want it to happen. It's because Al Heyman is business. It's business. We gone.